Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Houston Institute Data Series. My name is Dash Young Saber, and I'll be your host for today. I am the Data Management Director of Houston Institute. So, yes, my name is Dash. It's short for Dashiell Fellini Young Saber. That is my real full name. My ancestry is from a miserable Jewish and Russian shtetls um, up in Eastern Europe. But my mom loves to pretend that we're Italian. So she made my middle name Fellini. She also loves to pretend that we're French. So my first name is Dashel. And then Young Saver is hyphenating both my parents' names. So Young is my mom's name. Saver is my dad's last name. So they put it all together to make it more complicated. I don't know. I'm a San Antonio 20, 2017 core member. I teach high school math in San Antonio. So I was just entering the core in 2017 going through Houston Institute only a couple years ago. I studied statistics in college in addition to a couple other things, so I love data. Um, I also recognize that not everyone loves data and some people have data phobia, scared of data, and that's totally fine. The reason that we're making these videos is so that we can get more comfortable with data, especially as we enter region, have to interact with student data a lot more. Um, we try to make data as approachable as possible. And again, I'll be the data management director this summer in Houston. My pronouns are he, him, and his. So this video series, the purpose behind it is to expose you all as incoming core members to the basic skills for analyzing student data, which then you can use in region. And the platform we're going to use is Google Sheets just because it's intuitive, it works like a lot of our spreadsheet systems, and it's easily shareable. Um, here's a sequence we're going in. This first video is going to be about scoring exam data. The next one's going to be a about breaking down exam data by standard, then tracking student growth and academic data. We're gonna finish off with non-academic data because not all data is purely exams and tests. We can also look at data by other metrics such as your such as broader student outcomes or student surveys. Um, and then finally, we're gonna get into more advanced topics. Note that the difficulty level for all these is different ranges of beginner. That is intentional. We want this to be for people who might not have a lot of experience with data and with using data to introduce you to how data can be useful for you and some different data skills. So if you're one of those people who like is a uh, wizard in R and you're doing all sorts of one and two sample tests and ANOVAs and um, use Python for your more data science-y things and your predictive models, I feel you. I love that. I do that kind of stuff too, but this ain't for you. I'm sorry. So we're going to start off with scoring exam data. Um, if you ever want to reach me with questions about either these videos, Data Institute, or otherwise, here's my email address. And to access the data for this video, please copy this link and type it in or paste it into your browser. You'll also find this link in the description of this video. So once you've done that, you'll come to a screen that looks like Da, da, da. This, um, you'll notice it's view only for you. That's intentional. I want you to make a copy of this document yourself. So go up to file and then click make a copy. You can do it as copy of Houston Institute and put it in your drive. And now you have your own copy of the data. So you can see here we have about 20 students and their scores and different questions on an exam. Uh, you might notice that the names may look familiar to some of you, especially those of you from Southern California, because this is the starting lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers, the best team in the Major League, and uh, best team ever in history. Um, and we're going to look at how they did on a math exam. So this is a seven-question exam. covers three standards, quadratics, exponential equations, and the linear equations. And at the bottom here, we have the total possible points for each question. Now, the first thing as a teacher you want to be able to do is score the exam. You want to see how well each student did and then put their scores into their gradebook so they can see how well they did. And also so that you can respond to students who might be doing well and push them even further or students might be struggling to give them different interventions to help them catch up. So in order to score this, first I would want to find the total number of points scored for each uh, student. So we're going to start with Pedro Baez, star starting reliever, not starting reliever, star reliever for the Los Angeles Dodgers. I'm gonna click into cell J3, which is the end of his scores. And once I click into that cell, I'm gonna come up here to the formula bar. So we'll with FX and click into there. In the formula bar, you get to tell this cell what it should do, what operation it should do. I'm gonna type equals, all formulas start with the equal sign. Then I wanna find the sum of all of Pedro Baez's scores for all the questions. So I'm gonna type in all caps, S-U-M, sum, 
open parentheses with a shift nine. And then after I have equals sum open parentheses, I'm going to highlight each cell of Pedro Baez's scores. So it's C3 through I3, then close the parentheses and press enter. And now it's calculated the total score for us for Pedro Baez. Now, the nifty thing about Google Sheets and most spreadsheet systems is that after you've done that, you can take this bottom right hand corner of that cell that we just created and run it down, hold it, click and drag it down. And it gets you the total for every single student in this spreadsheet, in addition to the grand total out of the total possible points, which looks like it's 52. So you save a lot of work, don't have to do this by hand, you have the total raw score for everyone. So I'm just going to go ahead and label that column raw score up in J2. But more useful than the raw score is the actual percentage. Um, most classes um, at Institute and most classes otherwise, we generally have a standard of say like 80% master, 85% master. We want to average out to get a certain percentage right on our exams. And we want to see what percentage these students got right. So to the right raw score, we're going to do another column and we're going to get the percentage they got. So in K3, immediately to the right of Pedro Baez's raw score, I'm going to click that cell. I'm going to click into the formula bar again, next to FX. I'm going to type in equals. And this time, I'm going to find the percentage. Now, to get a percentage, we all know from basic math, um, you take the score you got, divide by the total score. So after I type equals, click Pedro Baez's raw score of 46, which is J3. Then division in Google Sheets is backslash, so type backslash. And then we're going to divide it by the total, which is 52. So I'm going to type in 52. Press enter. And we see that Pedro Baez actually did pretty well. He got an 88%. Um, now, this is a decimal. I want to make it into a percentage format. So I'm going to click on that cell again. I'm going to go up to format. And where it says number, I'm going to go over and click percent. So now I see that it's about an 88.5%. As per usual, I can go ahead and drag this down, click on the bottom right, drag it down, and you can see the percentages for everyone. So Pedro Baez did pretty well. Austin Barnes, didn't really get the content too much. Sorry, Austin Barnes. Um, Cody Bellinger, star hitter for the Los Angeles Dodgers and utility uh, fieldman, did amazing, got 100%. Typical Bellinger, always showing off. So I'm gonna name this column percent, and I got the percent scores for everyone. So now I can put everything into the grade book, Easy peasy. One last step I would show you in the course of this video is to try and visualize with this data, especially if you have a lot of students. This is just 20 students, say you got 40 in class. Say you're doing this for a whole um, couple sections of students and say you teach 140 students in total, they all took the same exam. You wanna see who's doing the best on that standard and who's doing the worst on these standards. Um, so you can differentiate your instruction. Um, we wanna be able to visualize who's doing well and who's not. So in that percent column, go ahead and highlight the percents for all your students. Then go up to format again and click on this option, conditional formatting. That's gonna pull up this uh, little menu on the right here. Click on color scale and where it says default, click that. And we're gonna change this so that the lower scores are gonna be lighter and more white and the higher scores are gonna be greener and darker and color debt. So I'm going to click on that second option, white to green. And there you go. Now we're able to realize, right, Cody Bellinger did amazing. So did Pedro Baez. Austin Bars didn't do so hot. Neither did Jock Peterson. Um, Justin Turner did pretty good. And you can start to see, especially if you have a lot of students, um, you can figure out which students do I need to pull out, maybe small group to do further interventions. Which students do I need to push further because obviously not being challenged by this topic. Um, you can start doing that differentiation practice to propel every student forward. So that's it for this video. Um, save this sheet in your drive. You don't know how to do that. We're gonna start at this place next time we'll have another downloadable link. Um, but I hope to see you next time in video two, which is breaking down this data by standard. Dash Young Saber, DMD, signing out.